despite us all concerned Some people got blood boiling, get burns Like the purge, the urge to release the beast To rob and steal and forget peace The weather black, white, or brown or green Remembering Martin Luther King had a dream that we KCAA, 10.50 AM, 106.5 FM in the Inland Empire Right now, we have a new show starting today It's called The Staunch Moderate Radio Show Starring Greg Simmons Co-starring me, Gary Garver Good afternoon, Greg How are you, my man? Alright, 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 alright Hey, Gary, good to be on with you, man I'm so stoked This is our pilot show Let's go, let's go Yeah, it's going to be awesome, man Uh, Can't wait to get the message out For Staunch Moderates and Greg, thank you so much for letting me be a part of it. This is a, 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 a new era, a new era. In by the way, you're looking at this this character over here, Bigfoot. What, what, is, what the hell is that? That, that? That's sort of a scary creature. Bigfoot staunch. He's the mascot to our staunch moderate intellectual movement. A Bigfoot, Bigfoot of the country, makes sense. Like most of us are all moderates, probably like 90%, and it's just 10% that are the extremists on both sides. <laughs> can uh, can Bigfoot stomp out the, the right-wingers and the left-wingers for us? Can he take his Bigfoot and stomp them all out so we can all be in cohesion, be together as one humanity? Please, Bigfoot, stomp out the left-wingers and the right-wingers for us, please. <laughs> we need to all work together. There's a lot of our of us moderates, so we're just trying to organize and all get on the same page to push peace for the planet. I believe it's needed right now. Absolutely, we need it. So tell us, Greg, how did you start Staunch Moderates? What? Give us the whole synopsis of how it all came about. What? I mean, in your mind, how did it all... Why did you start this whole movement? What was the point of it? Okay. I can do that. In early 2019, of course, it was another happy hour. And friends and I were sitting around, <laughs> sitting around talking politics and making fun of extremism like we just were. One of us said, I know. Why don't we start a new political party, staunch moderates? <laughs> I got a laugh. Um, but then it fell into a really interesting conversations and then many more interesting conversations throughout the year and finally december 3rd 2019 i filed for the staunch moderates intellectual movement trademark we rolled up our sleeves and got to work that's amazing man i mean this country is so divided and especially now with the general elections coming up next year presidential elections coming up I mean, what, what what do you want to? I mean, what do you want to convey to people out there that are just like so fed up with everybody in politics? I mean, you know, all these guys want to do anyways is get reelected. They don't care about us, whether you're on the Republican side or Democratic side. All they care about is themselves. So what? What? Hey, you know what, Gary? It's a messed up system, but I've got compassion for them. I wouldn't want to be a politician doing what they do. They spend half of their time trying to raise money and get elected. That's half of it. And the other t- half of the time is, is affecting policy and being, being in legislature or, or uh, city council, what, it, what, what have you. I don't know. The life of a politician, I can't say I want to be him. Be one. Here we're sitting here with a, a, a staunch moderates political talk show right now, but we're, really, we're talking more philosophy than politics, and that philosophy is the philosophy of moderation for us all to get along. Set our differences aside. I repeat, set our differences aside. Find common middle ground. Evaluate, negotiate, compromise, and decide into the most equitable solutions humanly possible. Come on, people, we can do this thing. Let's go, let's do it. Well, they used to do it. I mean, it used to happen all the time. I mean, the bottom line is up until, you know, the 21st century, politicians did work with one another. I mean, Ronald Reagan worked with Tip O'Neill. Newt Gingrich worked with Bill Clinton. 
but since the 21st century, it seems like it's just so divided. And really, when Obama became president, it, it, it went into a different territory. And then Donald Trump brought it into a, another higher, insane territory. I, I don't know. Do you th can, can we do this? I mean, I, I think most people are like us, staunch moderates. We're for what's right for America. What would you tell, yes. what would you tell people out there that are sort of fed up with it all and how, how, how can it be fixed or can it be fixed? Well, I, I can't say that it can be fixed, but you know what? It's a tall order and we have to try. So that's what we're doing right now, talking, talking about it right now. That's why we started the movement in 2019 to have the conversation. It all starts with the conversation of talking about the divide, addressing the divide and strive for national and world peace. And to do that, we started our original documents. We wrote a platform. We then wrote a philosophy, a mission statement, a manifesto, all these original documents um, before we got right into it until we finally launched February 11th of 2020 at the New Hampshire primary. We had our trifecta launch, launching our website, campaigning the primaries, and the beginning of producing our documentary film, which by the way, we are currently in the production right here, you and I, of the second episode of our documentary film, becoming a docu-series. Guess what it's titled? Mission Peace. But uh, I, you know, I think I, I act like I'm making fun about it, but we, we are having fun with all the work that we're doing, but we're very serious about our work to address the divide and strive for national and world peace. It's a tall order, but we got to try. Absolutely. Somebody has to start doing this because it's it's crazy what's going on in our society. And, oh, I love that. Believe. <laughs> Look at, the Greg has a shirt. I know you can't see it. Well, actually, you can see it on KCAA if you're watching KCAARadio.com. Uh, Greg has a, a, a really cool shirt. I want one of those shirts. He's got Bigfoot behind him. Not the, the And by the way, Bigfoot is a character, a real character, right? I mean, it's it's a it's a living thing, Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's got facial expression. He'll give a growl now and again. He, he doesn't talk though. But you know what, man? <laughs> he can throw a football because <laughs> he doesn't talk, but he can make music. He's the most musically inclined being on the planet. That's why we one of his names is DJ Staunch. <laughs> Staunch, yeah. And by the way, we were out there about three weeks ago in Palm Springs, throwing the football around with Bigfoot. And uh, the kids loved him. Everybody was taking pictures with him. It was just a good time. See, that's what we need. We need more feel-good stories, right? That's what you're trying to say. You're trying to bring positive energy. The staunch moderate movement is trying to bring positive energy to the human race and to stop the division of who we are as a society. Yeah, yeah, and, and and we do we do try to uh, bring a lot of positive uh, positivity to the human race, and we do it in an entertaining format, i.e., through music and film. Uh, so it's we're not here to give you a serious lecture. We're here to address the divide and strive for national and world peace, and uh, believe it or not, have a good time doing it. All right. Well, tell tell us first of all, what's the four rules of the staunch moderate radio show? The Gong Show. <laughs> I love that. So if someone gets too extreme, whether on from a call-in or something, we just gong them and they're out. So if that's rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay that, that's the first one. Give me, what, what are the other three? Rule number two is we don't take on debates. Rule number three, we don't take on policy discussions. We are just all about having the discussion about addressing the divide are the, the 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 ills in our society and strive for national and world peace that's the discussion we'll, we'll we'll take on and support and celebrate celebrating all that's good in the human race instead of all the ills as a strategy to overcome the bad because man there's a lot of bad out there and we're doing what we can to move us in the right direction and we want to bring everybody into a consciousness thinking of wanting to do that same thing and by if we feel that if we we're, we're, we're in the business with this bigfoot and all you know paradigm shifting you know the like from the 
the, the, the fiercest uh, folklore character on the planet to the coolest being on the planet, DJ Staunch. Um, but it's a paradigm shift, and that's we are in the paradigm shifting business, and we're trying to have a paradigm shift of, of, of uh, consciousness. So everybody's thinking peace. So hopefully that will happen. We're hoping to pulsate this message so far and wide that Xi Jinping and Putin, Kim Jong-un, hear it. And they, we can get them vibing on it too. Come on, man, we can do this thing. Hey, by the way, let, we, let's just send Bigfoot to like Russia and China and uh, you know, stomp out, stomp out all this negative energy between these countries and, and not only China and Russia, but I mean, we got North Korea, we got Iran, we got so many pockets of the world that are just like they're, they're full of hate and anger. And uh, what do you think causes this, Greg? I mean, what do you think causes all this hate and anger among you know different you know societies and, and even in America? I mean, there's a lot of hatred going on nowadays. Uh, for, I don't understand it. I mean, I'm just trying to it's be on the planet. On for a long time, though, like like in the '60s, this, uh, you, you, you know, um, civil strife in the '60s was pretty extreme. You know, now, they were saying the same thing right then. You know, and we overcame it. You, you know, but but what's changed? What I think really accentuated it is uh, the advance in technology, the internet, and social media. I say again, social media. It, you, you know, they, I, and 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 we've got co AI coming at us like a racehorse right now. So get ready, folks. Yeah, what's up with that, man? I, you know, like artificial intelligence. So they're gonna start. People, are, I mean, there's gonna be machines thinking for us now. I mean, is that is that, is that what it's coming down to? Like, we won't even have a thought process that, you know, that some machine's going to be doing it for us. They us. are. <laughs> they, they, they can do better what we're doing right now. Artificial intelligence. They, 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 maybe we should set aside artificial intelligence on addressing the divide and to strive for national and world peace. And see how smart... The, the machines can deal with it. <laughs> yeah, let's let's help them. Let's let, let's get let, you know what? Let's just blow some uh, marijuana smoke in some of these machines and see how they react to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> let's get them high. <laughs> what are you insinuating? I'm high right now or something? No, no, Come no. On. I'm insinuating I am. <laughs> I love that shirt, believe that is such a great shirt. So, tell me some of the uh, uh, what, what's been going on as far as the building blocks to staunch moderates and what, what, what the established things that you've done already. Some of the some of the great things you've already done in the past like three four years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about uh, you know once we launched at the um, New Hampshire primary campaigning the primaries with our vital societal issue forms. Name some of these forms well, right you built now. A, you built a website. First of all, give out the website because we want, you, listen, if you want to become a part of this movement, if you're sick of being on the left or the right, if you're sick of the left and the right, even maybe you're right down the middle like Greg and I are, staunch moderate, all you have to do is sign up. Greg, tell the listeners how they can sign up to be a part of this great new movement because I dig this movement. Go to our website, staunchmoderates.org. I repeat, staunchmoderates, plural, dot org. Like organization, that's us. And we make it readily available for you to sign up and get our newsletters uh, right there on our website. And explore our website, why don't you? It is robust. <laughs> tell, tell, well, what's what's in the what's on the website? At least tell tell the, the listeners what's on the website. They can, what they can yeah, look yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. If you go to our website, you, you know, uh, the, the home page welcomes you, you, you know, and pretty much tells the platform. Uh, I'm not reading the website right now, but, but it welcomes you there. It says, you, you know, here we are in this uh, time and era during civil strife and the divide, and we're this organization striving for national and world peace, kind of like you've heard from me 10 times already in this interview. That's all right. No, um, it's not. Listen, yeah. you can never get, let, let me just say something, Greg. You can never get the message out too often. You, 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 I yeah, mean, that, man, it's a serious message. That's why we keep on repeating it. You, you know, when we started this movement, you people were saying, you're what? You're, you're taking on the divide? 
And, uh, you know, I said, yeah, we are. You know, nobody else is doing it. Uh, you know, so we're going to take it on. We are an intellectual movement about addressing the divide and striving for national and world peace. And, the, and then once we started there, everything rolls out under, under the umbrella of common sense. For real. The whole intellectual movement, it's all common sense. Again, setting our differences aside, finding common middle ground, evaluating, negotiating, compromising, and deciding into the most equitable solutions humanly possible. Kind of like we learn in grade school. You, 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 it's that same stuff, you know? And we're, 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 we're just cheerleaders and, and, and singing the anthem to do just that. <laughs> don't you think, I mean, don't you think most people are really right down the middle anyways? I mean... If you, if you see, you know, a big thing going on right now is the abortion pill and all that and, and, you know, abortion laws and gun laws and things like that. I think we really are all the same, except for really the, the way left and way right. I mean, we want women to have rights. We want people to have the right to own a gun. But I don't know about the AK-47s and stuff and the, and the mass shootings that are going on. I don't think anybody's going, yeah, you know what? I like mass shootings or, you know, I, I want to take a woman's right away. I mean, you know, I mean, rights away. I, I mean, it's ridiculous. I think we're all for that. But why why is it so divided? Why is there is it just because it's politics and there's a lot of money to be made? I mean, I, I believe it's all about money and power. Yeah, it's also, uh, you, you know, people are married to their party as opposed to the issues. It, and, uh, you know, extensively, understandably so, because everybody's just trying to get by in, in, in their own form. You know, but, but, but literally, I said before, you know, moderates are like 80, I, 80, I even like to say 90%. It's just the extremists on, the, on both polls they make all the noise and fuss, and they're the ones getting things done. And everybody else is moderates just trying to get by and live their lives, you know? Hey, let me go into, let me go into these vital societal issue forums um, that we had. We, had uh, we campaigned 16 different primaries with 35 vital societal issue forums and polls. And Gary, you named one of them, abortion, abortion rights. Uh, was was one of those vital so corona for the coronavirus forum global warming and the polarized divide was another forum gun control and the right to bear arms was a forum these were all forums we hosted on facebook that were very robustly attended and anybody listening in can can go to staunch moderates facebook page that's facebook.com forward slash staunch moderates and go look at our forums in 2020. They're right there, and everybody chiming in, and they're really cool because they chime in not not only with captions, but with animations and and live action. Very creative and very robust. And the craziest thing about these forums is they they were extreme on both sides. <laughs> You know, and here we're in the business of getting people talking, man. And gosh, they were they really expressed themselves from extreme point of views. But um, yeah, yeah. So so we, but Bernie Sanders and his socialism for the United States was a forum, the abortion forum, the right, right, right to life and the right to choose, the divide. Are we to de-escalate now? Politics and COVID nineteen. Is it? Time to reopen COVID-19 and the 2020 election. Defunding the police. The science and politics of social distancing. Black Lives Matter in the presidential election. So we really covered a lot of topics. And then we also ran polls. One of our biggest and most favorite staunch moderate polls is socialism or capitalism. What's your choice? And the results of said polls was... 45% capitalism, 33% hybrid, and 22% socialism. Um, then we did polls for the election, who's going to win, Trump or Biden, and we put a bunch of energy in that. I don't like polls like that because everybody else is doing polls like that. But the, the poll that we did was capitalism or socialism, what's your choice for the United States? I, I found that pretty enlightening. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I mean, that's pretty wild. I mean, I, like I said... 
you know, the elections are coming up. Uh, you know, the, the presidential election is coming up next year. It's going to be totally insane what's going to happen. God knows, you know, with all the uh, indictments of Trump and, uh, you know, the, the Biden. Uh, you know, I don't think people, a whole lot of people like Biden either. Uh, do you see an alternative? Uh, do you see an alternative candidate that, you know, maybe a staunch moderate platform would support? Hey, man, the politics of day, they're, they, they're just wild, man. They're just just wild. <laughs> I'll do that hand, man. That's, that's kind of eerie. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you've done a lot of things. I mean, you know, you created the Staunch Moderate Movement. Uh, it, it's a great movement. Staunchmoderates.org if you want to find out more information. If you want to join, you want to become a staunch moderate. You're sick of being a Republican or Democrat. Uh, you're, you don't want to be an independent anymore staunchmoderates.org find out more information but man i mean and we've even got music why don't we put on our, our our socrates cafe you pretty much heard a table of contents and conversation so far we also put a put the table of contents to a tune and it got on the ballot for best rap song i was going to get to that I was, 2022 it did yeah i was, was, was going to talk about cafe. that yeah i was going to talk about that where not only do you have a movement, but you've already created music videos. Uh, you've, you've created a short film. You're out here about three, four weeks ago in Palm Springs, and it, it's blowing up, man, this, uh, this Bigfoot football thing that we were throwing around the football in Palm Springs with Bigfoot. Uh, you're trying to get it in the short film festival out here. But go ahead. You want to tell us about uh, uh, Socrates Cafe and, and this video, and then we can let, let's, let's, let's play it. Let me tell you about this cat I know, Professor Bo Persico. We were hanging out in Socrates Cafe. <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's jam it. This is Socrates Cafe, staunch moderates. Socrates Cafe. about this cat I know, Professor Bo Persico. We were hanging out at Socrates Cafe. What would the world look like in 10 years if everything was the way that you see fit? Socially, politically, economically, world order. Casanova A's. Bo is an alpha, not a beta. Great educator. Got facts and figures and political data. When it comes to the moderates, he's an OG. Started with the movement, the original three. And now with the movement, he does not cease. And like the members, he's all about peace. But when I started the Staunch Moderates movement to address the Great Divide, the division in society, birth, platform, manifesto, campaigning the primaries, vital societal issue forms, COVID-19 pandemic, George Floyd murder, and then the riots, Football, our Bigfoot mascot staunch. A Wayne's World meets Howard Stern political talk show on SMN. Also named staunch. Interviews, polls, the Bigfoots, the conventions, more football, the debates, the election, more riots. It's peace we moderate seek. It's all about peace. Fantasy or reality? It is what it is, possibilities. Fantasy or reality? It is what it is, possibilities. Bo's that. He's a big foot, but he's up to back. Bo's always on time and hits the mark. And knocking that ball right out of the park. Hits like pal, want your story now? Cause when the crowd sees him, they all like, wow. Try to fix the world, let the flag unfurl. And start to chill and everybody gets real. With love and hope, good health, we cope. No virus and drought, floods and riots are out. Racism gone, good laws are on. Our legacy says the things we did. We loved it, really took care of our kids. Created jobs, eliminated mobs. Our borders were straight, cause we managed the gates. Coming from Simmons and Persico. Come on world, we're all amigos. Division of society. Socrates, Bernard, platform, campaigning the primaries, 
vital societal issue forms, a manifesto, COVID-19 pandemic, the George Floyd movement and the riots, football, our big foot mascot stomach, the Wayne's World, the Howard Stern, World War Talk Show, CSA, interviews, polls, the big foot's, Socrates Cafe, staunch moderates. Now, Greg, what is Socrates Cafe? What, what's the meaning of the whole thing in the video? Well, you know, Socrates Cafe, uh, my uh, partner, a founding partner in the movement, Bo Persico, um, it's, his, it's his gig. And actually, there's Socrates Cafes that take place all over the world. And it's literally some professor that wants to host a Socrates Cafe. So they gather a bunch of people to, around it to talk philosophy and politics and whatnot. And, and, and it's, a, it's a movement that's been taking place for many, many decades worldwide. So Bo Persico hosted a Socrates Cafe, and the principle of it is in the opening lyrics of, of the track, and those lyrics are, what would the world look like in 10 years if everything was the way that you see fit politically, socially, economically, world order. And uh, there, I stumbled a little bit, but the, the final is, is world order. And then on the track, I introduced Casanova Ace, which our rapper, when he raps, man, that is world order. I'll tell you what, man. Yeah. Casanova Ace is... And we love Cass. Water, its own Biggie Smalls. Yeah, and we love Cass, and, and uh, you know, we'll have Cass on the show if not this week, definitely in the next week or so, he's battling um, cancer. Uh, I got to know Cass uh, via Night of 100 Stars uh, many, many years ago, probably, I'd say probably 15, 16 years ago. And what, Yeah, man, and, we, and, all, we all met each other back at Night of 100 Stars Oscars party. Casanova Ace, Gary Garver, Ed Losey, all through the Walters family. The Beverly Hills Hotel, man. Was that a fun party to go to? Oscar <laughs> night. I mean, such a fun party. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was so cool. And I've talked about it on my radio show, too, where, you know, I would go out. It was like the only party, only event that would allow me to be myself, Gary Garver from the Howard Stern Show, because I always had to lie when I was doing the uh, interviews for Howard. I always had to use my middle name, Gary Werner, with Infinity Broadcasting. But. Ed Losey, who God bless him, and he'll be on the show too. Ed's a big part of this whole movement too. From what he, I, I spoke to him uh, about three or four he days sure ago, is. and he's a big part of this movement. But I mean, Night of Under Stars is where you know celebrities would get together at Beverly Hills Hotel and hang out and watch the Oscars. And what was cool about it is that Ed allowed the media to go down there and party with the celebrities, and that's where. You and I and uh, Cass met many, many moons ago. Yeah, man. When I'm when I met Cass, he walks up. He goes, "Hey, how you doing? What do you do?" I go, "Well, I'm, I'm a producer of a scripted comedy TV show. I'm trying to get off the off off the ground." He goes, "Come here, tell me about. It. Tell me, I'm about halfway through my pitch." He goes, Pff. "I'm like, what do you, what do you mean that's enough?" He goes, "Come here, come here, come here." Everybody loves Ramitz on Field and Friends, but the next big hit show, it's called Aspen. <laughs> Just like that, man. That, that's Casanova Ace, man. And I'll tell you what, he is coming back right now, uh, healing from radiation and chemotherapy. And boy, is that chemotherapy brutal on your body. And if the cancer doesn't kill you, the chemo will. Well, Cass is fighting his way back, man. And 
Uh, we love the guy so much. Uh, we've done so much work with him over the years. He's just such a warm-hearted soul. Has the best intentions for everybody on the planet. On the on the planet. And uh, we're, we're, we're in the process of producing our third album now, which is entitled Peace. Um, and uh, we, we hope he can make it back and, uh, and make this album with us because hey, we, we, it's, it's not going to be a pretty picture without him. And you know what? We just want Cass to get better for Cass to get better so that he can enjoy the rest of his life with us. Amen. That's right. We just want Cass to get healthy because he's such a great talent. I mean, he's one of the best talents I've ever, and I told, I've told him this, that I think he's one of the best talents I've ever met in Hollywood, in the entertainment business, because, I mean, I would ask him these questions, these crazy questions, and he would just, off the top of his head, would just start rapping to it. I mean, you know, I remember I was interviewing John Voight one time, and I play this on, on you know, all the time, and uh, Casanova was, uh, like, in the background, and John Voight overheard Casanova and said, uh, John Voight was, like, going, wow, he's really doing his thing. And I go, Cass, can you do a rap for... Uh, Mr. Voigt and and John Voigt says no he doesn't have to and Cass goes oh yes I do and then you know he did this whole rap with for John Voigt <laughs> and it was awesome and he's just he's such a great talent and uh, God bless him and, and you know he's a big I mean the reason Greg and I are really speaking and doing the show is through Cass Casanova yeah I mean he hit me time, up man. he hit me up about this whole staunch moderates movement and put us in contact right Greg. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, man. Cass put us together. Yep. All the way back to Night of 100 Stars, man. Those are fond memories. Oh, God. I know. And Ed Losey is so, so cool. And, uh, we're, and what, what does Ed do? Ed, Ed is a, a great PR person, public relations person. He's represented so many people. He actually worked in the White House for President Bush, the first President Bush. Uh, he's done yeah, so George H. W. Bush. Yeah, he's done so many. So what, what, what is a... What's Ed's role as far as like uh, in the staunch moderates movement? Well, well, let me continue on. Not only did he work in the White House press office for the Bush administration, but uh, the following administration, the Clinton administration, had heard good things about him and they kept him on. So he's worked with uh, both sides of the aisle and he's actually working with the uh, current Biden administration uh, representing Sim Farrar, the um Press secretary to the the, the 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 press secretary to the United Nations. Um, so so he's 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 been on both sides of the aisle, and he is our press secretary, staunch moderate's press secretary. And man, wait until you hear this cat speak. He sounds so presidential, and he's so cool, and he tells stories like nobody's business. He can fill up the staunch moderate's radio hour. <laughs> at a click of a finger man yeah no he's he's great and we, we we were talking we talked for about i don't know half hour 45 minutes uh the other night and we was just relaying uh all these great stories uh about uh, having me and and you know i said hey thanks Ed, for allowing me to be you know uh a part of your night of 100 stars and allow me to be uh, you know because of the howard stern show because a lot of celebrities just get so upset with me. They want me arrested for asking stupid questions for Howard, you know. But Ed was laughing his ass off about it, and we, we reminisce. And we'll talk about that when he comes on the show for sure. It will be really, really cool. I, I want to do one thing. You were talking about Cass, right? And yeah, his right. raps. Why don't, we play, why don't we play one of his... Uh, his raps, one of the the. the how can, about the DJ Staunch? How about the, the, the theme song for our Bigfoot? Okay, DJ Staunch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play DJ Staunch right now. This is Casanova Ace rapping to DJ Staunch. If you want to see any of these videos, how do they find them, Greg? How do they find these videos? Oh, go to Staunch Moderates News YouTube channel, Staunch Moderates News, or go to our website staunchmoderates.org and go to news and events page and they're all they're all there but i think you'll be most entertained if you go to staunch moderates news youtube channel we like to see it as the old mtv meets rolling stone magazine staunch moderates news check it out all right here's casanova ace doing dj staunch
You got Bigfoot and you got Loch Ness, but there's a brand new creature that inhabits the West. He's big, he's strong, and he steals the show. Bigger than our friend Lufo Wick. No, people look at him and they say, what? He's bigger than the Incredible Hulk. He's got a hairy face, but he's so good looking. Politically correct, and he's always cooking. He don't say much, but when he says something, he's got views, and his views are pumping. And when he talks, you bet to listen. Cause if you don't, you might come up missing. And if you meet him in a Rocky Mountain Blizzard, you'll discover he is a wizard. The continental divide is his art. What's his name? His name is Star. American pride. Why all the riots? We don't have peace. And they look at me and call me a beast. I say, let's end the hate. Come one, come all. Let's have love, peace, and football. Take it from me, I stay peaceful and quiet. I look real scary. I'm just the gentle giant. Finally, Israel, Palestine, you all cease. All hostilities, let's have peace. Okay, there you have it. DJ Staunch with Casanova Ace. It's great to hear his voice, right? Right, Greg? <laughs> Absolutely, man. I hear, I listen to my mu- our music all the time, you know, and and, and there there's Cass with me all the time. Even though, even though he's like been like on the other side or close to the other side. He ain't on the other side yet. He's still with us. He's still with us and we're going to have him on the show for sure. We'll definitely get him on the show uh, because uh, he is an unbelievable soul. Yeah, he was going to try to call in, and then he sent me a text, that something I don't think it's going to work out for some reason. That's all right. Listen, uh, let's make sure he feels good enough to, to call in because we don't want to we don't want to force the issue, especially. Yeah, with- yeah, it looks like it's not a fit today. That's okay. He's coming back, though, folks. Our Casanova, he's coming back. He's calling me up, man. He, uh, he's calling. He's a hustler, this Casanova. He called me up, and, he, he's, and, he, and he's out of his mind, you know. He's the wants to go to Disneyland. <laughs> I love him. And man. again, man, this is staunch moderate zone, Biggie Small. He sounds just like the just just like Biggie. I hear it from so many people. Yeah, and you can hear his you can watch his videos and hear him on uh, like the staunch moderates news. And there's all these different videos. You got you got two albums already out, and then you have this third album coming out. Hopefully later on this year called Peace. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know who else he sounds like is Will Smith in that track "Summertime." You know that track "Summertime." He did the, the the cadence, the way Will Smith r- raps in it, very much like Casanova's. By the way, can I just hit Will Smith in the face for being such a pussy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you are, toying with the celebrities again, Mr. Garber. Well, listen, he screwed with Chris Rock, you know, for no apparent reason. So we got to, got to, got to bitch slap him every now and then. All right, so listen, <laughs> <laughs> you got so many things going on. I mean, you've had so many. Yeah, you, you have film documentaries going on. You got music videos. You got also, you, and also you have election day shows. And uh, tell us about the election I day. Talk about that election day show. Let's do it. What, 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 what's that all right. about? All right, all right. You, you know, we were talking about campaigning the primary, 16 different primaries with 35 vital societal issue forums and polls. We did that. Well, then all of a sudden we got to take a little hiatus, six-week break. And then guess what? It was time for the conventions. So we attended the conventions and we did polls and interview. got to interview Barry Goldwater Jr. Uh, so for podcasts and then uh, uh, Maggie Connor, the Olympian bump skier. Uh, Lou Ferrigno. Um, so we got to do some cool interviews, and then we also attended uh, 
the debates and continued our podcast right up to the election day. And then we had the election day show where Barry Goldwater Jr., Lou Ferrigno, Maggie Connor, of course, those people, they all came in. We had an election day, a rather unusual and entertaining election, election day show. And you know what we staunch moderates were pushing? Peace. Because we feel the world could use it. But it was really a fun show. It's on our podcast on Staunch Moderates News. But they, hey, it came to the end of 2020. A big year, I think we can all agree, right? 2020, the pandemic set in. The Trump, then Biden election. Biden wins. Yeah, the whole thing, yeah. It's crazy, man. And the Capitol raid. You know, and the, the trippiest... So, uh... Well, uh, uh, during that election day show, I uh, ran, ran, ran a contest. Pick a day, pick a day, any day. What day do you pick that will get official election results? Right during the election day, November 3rd, I think it was. <laughs> that became pretty poignant, didn't it? Because what day did we get official election results? I think it was January 6th was when the official... January 6th, the Capitol raid, man. So, and then we, yeah, so uh, we, and then I inter- ended up interviewing Barry Goldwater Jr. about the Capitol raid. Though Those are on Staunch Moderates News podcasts also. Barry Goldwater Jr. was actually a representative out here where, when I was growing up in the San Fernando Valley, he was our representative. He was the entertainment congressman. And he was, he was our representative out here in uh, the San Fernando Valley where I grew up. What did he have to say about that raid? I mean, what was his take on the, that whole thing? Did he think it was Trump's fault or did he, uh, what, what was his vibe on that? Let me tell you about a man who's- No, not, not he didn't bury Trump directly. Like, gosh, I recall those interviews. Like I said, there's so many moving parts. What did Barry Goldwater say about the Capitol raid? I don't, go, go, go to Staunch Motors News YouTube channel and we really eloquently explained. Explained. I just thought you may know because I like I said I, I I have a connection with Barry Goldwater Jr. because he was a part of our you know when I was growing up he was our Congress. So did you get to work with him and interview him too? I didn't enter. No, I was 18 years old when he was our congressman. I mean that that's how far back we're. Yeah, going, right. You know, I mean, 40 years ago. Yeah, 60s and 70s, 60s and 70s. 14 years he was in Congress while his dad by the way, was also in Congress, and it's the only only time in U.S. history that a son and a father were in Congress, the, the Goldwaters. Yeah, and then his dad uh, ran for president, too, uh, and, and ended up losing, but he was, uh, yeah, he was Republican nominee. Beat up by Johnson, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, well, that's that's why I'm at now. So, what, what, what are your plans for 2024? Because 20, 2020 was pretty wild. But I think 2024. 2024, man. Oh you're my jumping God. Away and I was just getting into 2021 <laughs> and making the first realm now. <laughs> well, dude, it's, it, it's, 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 it's past that point now. It's 2023. It's already April. 2024. Do you do you plan on going to the conventions? Do you plan on going to the primaries? What what what's the staunch moderates movement uh, plans for uh, the upcoming presidential year? You know what's cool? We do. We're, we'll campaign the primaries again with vital societal issue forms because we think they're very poignant and they're so cool. We do them virtually, and we target the major cities where the primaries are being held. So how do you say, do that, Greg? How do you do that virtually? Tell us through Facebook. Facebook targeted ads, and we just ask the question in a Facebook targeted ad, and then we target those ads for like the California primary. We would target San Francisco and LA. And um, and it's what's, what's cool is vital societal issue forms right at the primary location. So we, we, we're getting an in-depth look at what the populace feels about these issues we wanna talk about right there during the primaries. It's just an awesome exercise for us as an intellectual movement. Um, now, now, can uh, you, now, where can you see the results of this? Do you, do you go to staunchmoderates.org and do you have like a section Facebook. on Facebook? Facebook? Oh, it's actually, Facebook, our okay. Facebook page. Yeah, it, and in our Facebook page, you can go read the forums or even participate in the forums. 
Um, hey, and they're entertaining as heck. They're actually kind of TikTok-y like, believe it or not. Talking about the algorithm. Here I am talking about algorithms and social media. I would have never figured, man. I'm not the brainiac to be able to do that, but I'm doing it. Um, and, uh, and the reason that the, the, the because the, the forums are this perspective, this perspective, this perspective, videos, uh, animations, um, stickers, and, and kind of at that same pace as TikTok, you know? And, and that's why I say it's a similar type of algorithm. And I've always argued it, it would just be a great column and like, like the New York Post or the New York Times or the LA Times, San Francisco Chronicle. But it, it's, it's so cool because it's a new, it's a new media column right. about the subject that we're talking about. And it's so cool because it's, being it's not being told about by the news pundits. It's being taught, done. The pundits are the public. This perspective, this perspective, and, and some of the some, some of the perspectives are just outrageous, and they're funny Real as people. hell. Real people. It's not. It's not. It's not twisted from you know these news networks that want to twist the news the way they want it to go. This is just real people speaking their minds. It's 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 user content is what it is, and that's what's popular today. Is user content. That's what TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, they all are, you know, and, and, and we just do one of those. Do you target uh, any, uh, like, do you somebody? target any uh, certain type of person or is it just a, a free flow uh, event? Anybody who wants to chime in. And the funny thing about it is, because we're the moderates, but the ones that want to chime in the most are kind of extremists because they want to express their extreme perspectives. So it's one extreme to the other extreme to the other. It's it, 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 like I said, you, you, you read these columns, they're enlightening, they're entertaining, um, funny. Yeah. Who, who's, who's the most extreme party, do you believe? Do you think it's more the Republican Party or the Democratic Party, left wing, right wing? Do you, do you find do you find it? One way or the other, or is it about both the same? Gong. <laughs> I, I, I can't say. I got a gong. That, that's a partisan question. I can't jump in. And oh, you got, say, you got man. a gong me? You just gonged your co host? Is that, you just, you I, just I, gonged, I gonged me? the co host. I can't believe it. Man. I just got I gonged. Get fired from the show. <laughs> on the first effing show, he gongs me. I mean, come on. <laughs> that's not a partisan question. That's just, I'm just wondering who's. More crazy, the left wingers or the right wingers? Come on, you got go ahead, gong me again. That's okay. I, if, if I said it'd be it'd be a partisan call. Okay, and, okay, and I got. We it. don't do that. I know, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but it, it is it is an interesting question to ask. It, the, it, oh, it's a great question, and I've got views, but I can't say. I can't say because it's not my job to say. My job's not to say. My job's to sit on a pen, fence post and not make decisions. No, that's actually. Not what moderates are all about, sitting on a fence post and not making decisions. And by the way, sometimes the wisest thing to do about something is to do nothing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Sometimes it's just better to say nothing. I mean, how many times have I put my foot in my mouth when I should have just said nothing or done anything? And that's the problem. Is that you the front man for Howard Stern? I'm sure never. <laughs> no, believe me. There's times when I'm just like, don't say a damn thing. Just let it go. Let it be. Let it be. Like yeah. Beatles said. Let it be sometimes. So, so Greg, I hear you. So, anyways, with the uh, so the 2024 elections, you're you're gonna do you're gonna be a big part of that. What what's your goal? What's your goal for our society in the next? Well, this is 2023. So, let's go into this this year. What's what's your goal for this year? And then you know, 2024 is around the corner. So, what's the goal for staunch moderates for the next? Seven eight months. I know you got an album. By the way, we haven't even talked uh, touched upon the film documentary that you're doing, a short film documentary that you want to put in the Palm Springs Film Festival and other film festivals. You want to talk about that, or you want to just talk about the goal for the rest of the year for Staunch Moderates? You want to talk about the film? All right, we'll talk. We'll, we'll we'll go your way. We'll talk about the film then. <laughs> no, we're actually, we're very passionate about our Mission Peace documentary. It's actually. Not a short. We are in the business with a, a couple other films, Bigfoot's Football and Bigfoot's Baseball. Those are shorts. 
But you gotta tell me, because I don't know. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but Mission Peace is a feature length documentary, eighty three minutes, and it uh it uh, covers our um our birth through the twenty twenty election, basically. And, um, and where can people uh, check that out? It's such moderate. You know, we don't have a distribution deal yet. We're in the film festival circuit. We've uh, we've gotten into twelve different film festivals and and won awards at two of them. Um, we're hoping to get picked up by some more elite film festivals: Aspen, Mill Valley, Telluride, maybe. And if we do, and we get a distribution deal, we'll go for an Oscars run with this thing. Actually. That's not a very humble statement, but it's not about being humble or self-deprecating. We're not in the business of that. We're in the business of pushing this message for peace. And, and so that's why um, this, uh, this film, uh, it's, it's, it's an important film and it needs to be seen. Well, that's what I'm saying. Have you tried Netflix? I mean, is is, is that distribution with like Netflix or Hulu or Roku or something like that? Have you approached them? Yeah. I mean, those would be awesome to get a streaming deal with either one of those, especially Netflix Netflix or or Amazon Prime, because the distribution is so wide. And we we, we just want to get as many eyes on on the content as possible to spread the message of addressing the divide and strive for peace. Come on, we can all chime in and do something about this. We're, we're offering an opportunity for you, the public, each and every one of us, to do something about addressing the divide and striving for peace. Before 2020, it's unthinkable to try to address the divide, but we staunch moderates, we've built a platform where actually each and every one of us can do something about it by chiming in, tell your friends, peace. Staunchmoderates.org, staunchmoderates.org. It is all about peace. And listen, the bottom line is that, you know, we only have a short time on this planet. And to have this negative energy floating around is just, I don't understand it. I just don't get it. I don't know why people are so divided. I don't know why people hate each other because they don't think the same way they do or they don't look the same way they do or act the same way they do. I just never... I, I've never gotten it, but especially now, because um, it's gotten so bad. And that's why I'm a part of this movement. That's why I, I, I'm proud to be a part of the Staunch Moderates movement, because I know you guys are just for peace and yeah. love and to try to help one another out and help mankind out. And that's that's awesome, man. I, I give you much kudos, Greg, for that. Uh, appreciate it, Gary. Appreciate it. Hey, I wonder if we could play our track uh well, we're, well, we're running out of time. How about next week we do it? We got, we only got a minute left on the show. <laughs> oh, maybe we, we should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A minute left on the yeah, show. Yeah, we got, yeah. Was, let's let's play. It. Let's save it for next week. Let's save it for next week. We'll also talk about the uh, Bigfoot football and Bigfoot foot baseball next week because uh, you you came down here and shot that in Palm Springs. And all I know is that. Ever since that's happened, uh, everybody's recognizing me and going, "Hey, dude, I saw you on YouTube. Hey, dude, I saw you know they're they're, they're, they're driving me nuts, Greg." And football and baseball. Big, big, and yeah, big and we're football. campaigning Palm Springs to get into your Palm Springs film festivals because the Palm Springs Shorts Film Festivals is the biggest in the world. Palm Springs Film Awards. We want to get in your festival, so we're there campaigning with our big You're fans. everywhere. You're everywhere, man. So uh, I want to thank you for putting me back on the map here in Palm Springs. And, and, and I'm, getting a lot of, I'm getting a lot of weird looks. And, and some of them are dirty, Greg. Some of them are dirty, I got to say. <laughs> There's people that don't like our Bigfoot? No, they don't like me. <laughs> hey, Greg Simmons, founder, co-founder of Staunch Moderates, staunchmoderates.org. Greg, great first show. God bless you, man. I can't wait for next week's show. Uh, we got some cool things to talk about and, and doing some music videos. Uh, also, uh, we'll talk about Bigfoot's football and Bigfoot's baseball. How's that, my man? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, it is KCAA 1050 AM 106.5 FM in the Inland Empire. I'm Gary Garber. And that's the first show of the Staunch Moderates radio show.